guys welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you're new to my platform welcome please hit that subscription button it would totally mean the world to me We got an engagement ring here. Someone may be getting proposed to. We got kisses here. And it gives me tender kisses. Blown away. Tender kisses. Gone to All right, so maybe somebody may not be getting engaged. All right. So let's see what's happening. It says unconditionally loving and giving, receiving affection and falling in love. But that song, that's the song I got. Tender Kisses. All right, we got the butterfly here. A relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child. Okay, so somebody's relationship growing to the next phase. We got stability, serenity, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. All right, trees are rooted, so, and it says stability. So, something about a firm foundation. All right, we got wedding rings here. So, somebody's definitely getting proposed to. But also, on the other side of that, I need to see what the lyrics to that song says. Because, for some reason, it felt like it gave me something also breaking up. So, everything can be true for all things, um, depending upon which situation you're in all right so that song is tracy spencer tender kisses and i'm so confused and i think i want to cry tonight what must i do baby you don't know what you mean huh? something it's gonna be you're so unpredictable why must you treat me this way i want to know love me for who i am whatever happened to the drama I mean, to the dreams we used to share. Where did I love go? Oh, boy, do you even care? Okay, exactly. Don't leave. Leave me here all alone. I want someone I can call my own. I may be young, but I'm ready. Ready to fall in love. I'm so confused. You're so unpredictable. Trust in me as I trust in you. Put our hearts together. There's nothing we could do. All right, somebody marrying somebody that's older and, and maybe the person, so somebody may have had somebody else and they chose a different option. So on the flip side of that, there is one thing also happening, like I said, as the other thing has happened simultaneously. So this person could also be crushing somebody else's heart. Um, whatever happened to the dreams we used to share, where did I love go, or do you even care? Tender kisses, blown away, blown away. I wonder if you loved me till I wasn't so blind that I could not see. Holding on to the memories of the way you used to kiss me. All I ever really wanted. All right, so somebody having an old flashback of somebody else. Either way, somebody getting engaged, somebody else ain't, okay? And I feel like same person. So the same person got one person on this end, on this spectrum, happy, go lucky. We getting proposals and we got wedding rings, unions. Weddings, marriages, soul contracts, eternal love, everlasting promises here. Um, looking at your photos. So on the other hand, you got somebody looking at your photos, looking at you, making new memories with somebody else and doing something different. Okay, so there's all of that taking place in the background. So on the forefront, we got engagement ring. All right, partnerships, commitments, eternity, completions, unions. Unconditional love, giving and receiving, falling in love. I mean, it's a lot on the beautiful, you know, love tip. But, I mean, there is no buts as far as that's concerned. It's just that there's something else, some underlying thing playing in the background. All right, we got soulmates, a soul connection, a partnership agreement, and a soul contract. All right, somebody heading to be with their soulmate or their... uh somebody that they got a contract with 
and behind the scenes there's something else playing out because this person is leaving a different relationship in order to get something fulfilling like i said the person could be younger depending upon which area you in i guess again they all things being simultaneous because so one thing ran concurrent with the other maybe is what it's looking like or what it's doing so we got the garden here community culture teamwork over engagement ring and kisses so we got 20 here we got eight so that's february 20 march 20 march 8 that's also february 28 that's also a 10 a start yeah ending and a start so ending one thing with somebody and going into something new All right, so we have the club here, conflict, opposition, and drama. All right, which is over kisses and soulmates. Because like I was saying, I don't think that one person would like the fact that they're losing their person or what they think is their person, but their person has a contract with somebody else or your person has a contract with you. But meanwhile, there was somebody else in the wings or on the sidelines or maybe they engaged with the person first. It would have to be that. So, so you, no, it would be you having a relationship with a person or because it could also be past life shit. So you might not have even had a relationship with the person in this realm yet or on this time frame yet. All right, so ask yourself a question. What you want? Okay, so whatever it was, the answer is it's not the right time. And I started saying it, but then it just came out. So not the right time. But it also says listen to your intuition. So I got the feeling like they may be telling you it's not the right time. Because you may got a cross watcher or you may got somebody watching. And it's giving me the version of never let your left hand know what your right hand's doing. So they're saying trust your intuition, but maybe they don't want to fully solely say what it needs to be. Because again, if we got a situation playing out where this person was with somebody else and now they're leaving this person to come and at least try to have a shot with you, then... There could potentially be some conflict and drama happening behind the scenes. And if you never engage with this person or you don't know this person, then you wouldn't be none the wiser. But the same thing would be potentially happening with you because probably the same. Somebody that you've been dealing with before still watching and being nosy and maybe realizing that you're under contract with somebody else and now it's creating havoc in their mind and in their life because it says looking at your photos missing you nostalgia and making new memories so somebody watching you do some new shit and it ain't giving a vibe of that they like it because we got the club here um, somebody's initials may be J, first, middle, or last. We got the number 11 here. 11 is a master number. So we got 10 and 11. I heard up and up a notch. So raising the bar. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. It says something that's not the right time, though. But... They also said pay attention to your own intuition. Because, again, you don't want your left hand doing what your right hand doing. So, you may be being monitored. And I say that lightly because monitored, stalking, looking, whatever the intent is. Monitoring gives me observation vibes. Like, let me see what this person doing. Mm, 
I don't know how they would be doing that, but the way that it gives me the feeling is not in a way that you would like, okay? So express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, so one of y'all, or maybe all of y'all being said, being told, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. But I also said it's not the right time. So if you're gonna have to take it for how it resonates for you, because they also said, trust your own intuition because there is something happening here. We got a wedding here. This situation involves marriage. And I said it's an engagement ring already. So, yeah, somebody's getting engaged and somebody is getting left. I mean, this card says this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek, okay? So... There's that. We got balance is necessary and needed here. That's 25, February 25th. All right, we got 13, intuition. And I said, trust your intuition. Because they're letting you know that you are being monitored, watched, stalked. So I'm paying attention. All right, we got restless energy here. 16. Uh-oh. I heard the idol, uh, idol mine is the devil's workshop. So we got March 16th here, March 13th, February 25th, February 22nd. All right, which is vitality. Somebody could be overthinking a situation. Got too much going on in their head. Not letting something rest. I hear like somebody making a mountain out of a mobile. This is just the way it's got to be done, okay? All right, I see mature woman and great fortune here. And the message that I got is um, angel number 626. And it is a message of balance, stability, and harmony, which is what I also said first card here. All right, so we got 626 combines the energies and vibrations of the number 6 and 2. The number six represents harmony, balance, unconditional love, and domestic domesticity, while the number two signifies adaptability, cooperation, diplomacy, and service to others. This indicates that the divine angels are encouraging you to focus on your relationships and the family life. They want you to work towards finding the perfect balance between your personal and professional life. All right, so we got six two six could be a sign that your angels are guiding you and supporting you to take the next steps in life. They want you to be flexible and adaptable in your approach to different situations. Angel number 626 also signifies that your efforts towards creating a harmonious and balanced life will bear fruit soon. All right, so 626 is not a manifestation number, but it does indicate that the angels want you to visualize your dreams, set achievable goals, and to work towards them. By focusing your energy on positive thoughts and actions, you can manifest your desires and dreams. So 626 is a sign of growth, harmony, balance, and stability. The angels are urging you to develop a deeper understanding of yourself and your spiritual journey. 
Use your intuition and inner wisdom to guide you towards a more meaningful and purposeful life. So 626 signifies the importance of relationships in your life. It could also indicate that the angels are guiding you towards a harmonious and loving partnership. If you're already in a relationship, the angels are reminding you of the importance of communication, compromise, and balance in your relationship. As far as money and career is concerned, 626 signifies a time of change and growth in your professional life. Stay focused, work hard towards your goals, and remain adaptable to changing your dynamics of your career. So as far as the number angel number 626, it could be as a sign of growth and balance in your relationship. The angels want you to work towards finding the perfect balance between your personal and spiritual life. Trust in your intuition and inner guidance to navigate your journey towards spiritual growth and unions. All right, so as far as 626 is concerned, um, the angel number is associated with valuing family life and domestic, domestic harmony. It symbolizes the importance of maintaining balance and peace in our lives. The Bible teaches us to focus on our faith, family, and relationships to bring happiness and fulfillment to our lives. Angel number 626 does not have a negative meaning. However, if you ignore the signs and messages of the angels, you may miss out on opportunities for growth, balance, and harmony in your life. So in summary, angel number 626 signifies the importance of finding balance, harmony, and stability in your life. The angels are guiding you towards creating a meaningful and purposeful life that aligns with your values and beliefs. Trust in your intuition, remain adaptable, and work towards achieving your goals to manifest blessings in all aspects of your life. We got two cards coming out. We got Coffin, which y'all said to end to something. We got February the 19th, and we also have March the 19th. We have an ending and somebody sending a letter. So that may be how, you know, you get this done. But endings also bring new beginnings. We got a privileged lady here as well, okay? We got clouds. And if you turn this number right side up, it'll be a nine. So we got angel number 199. And it is to understand the numerology meaning of angel number 199, we need to break it down into component parts. The number one represents new beginnings, leadership, and independence. The number nine represents spiritual enlightenment, humanitarianism, and wisdom. When these numbers are combined, they create a powerful message about spiritual growth and leadership. Angel number 199 is a reminder that you're a spiritual being having a human experience. The universe is guiding you to embrace your true spiritual path and to trust that you're on the right journey. Your angels are supporting you in your quest for knowledge and wisdom. Keep seeking spiritual growth and you will be rewarded with abundance in all areas of your life. So we have angel number 199 is a reminder of the importance of spiritual growth and leadership. Your angels are guiding you towards true, your true calling and reminding you to trust in the process. This number is associated with manifestation, spiritual growth, and a new and new beginnings. Trust your intuition, embrace your true spiritual path, and you will experience abundance in all areas of your life. All right, and then we have clouds here. So lacking stability, direction, and confused focus. Somebody wants you to be confused about whatever it is they're doing. I don't really feel like you care. Um maybe also vice versa because again as one thing is so so is the other we have lilies here um virtue purity morality sex pleasure and comfort so somebody just wants stability in their life they want a foundation and on the other hand they got somebody that is so i feel like somebody's trying to release a relationship a karmic relationship something that may have taught them you know what they needed to know at that time but now this person is ready to advance further in life so Pisces, this is the read and hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming towards my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.